Magazine, Karen Velez returns as the Playmate of the Year 1985, and she's a little surprised by her own success. My goal was never to become a Playmate at first, until I realized that during my test shootings, God, this would be great if I could possibly make it. So my goal enhanced along the way from my testing on. Karen became a Playmate after being interviewed during Playboy's 30th anniversary Playmate search. And to go to that interview, she got a little nudge from an unexpected source, her grandmother, Doris Newman. She had more or less bribed me. She said, you know, there's a 30th anniversary search, and if you do get it, it's 30, you know, $30,000 or whatever. And she said, if you go down for this interview, your sister will take you, and I'll buy you a new dress for this upcoming, like, Friday night or whatever. I'm not a prude, obviously. <laughs> no, I think I admire beauty in any shape or form. And I think that the pictures Playboy took of Karen are beautiful. I really do. I think they did very well by her. Very artistic. Karen's Playmate of the Year layout was shot in Tahiti. Today's swimsuit shots are beside the pool at the Playboy Mansion West. How did this formerly shy young woman from Miami get used to nude photography? After my first testing, you, the people that photograph you and Playboy's generally more or less like a family-oriented company, and after you take off your clothes the first time, they don't look at you like you're naked. They make you feel like you're dressed and you're just doing normal photographs, maybe even for a regular clothed model session. So they don't make you feel uncomfortable. So I think after you overcome the first initial shock of taking off your clothes in front of a crew, it's a piece of cake after that. Okay, that's nice. Gary Morris is the Playboy photographer working with Karen today. He's seen his share of Playmates and finds Karen's look refreshingly different. Not the uh, stereotypical playmate. I mean, she's brunette, which is wonderful. Uh, she's got the long flowing hair. She's got a very uh, almost borderline exotic face, European to a certain extent. Your right toe towards me. Good. Actually, Karen's granny had her day in Playboy, too. Doris was included in Karen's original Playmate layout. In the kitchen. In clothes. I mean, really, I didn't think anybody would notice. But I guess it's because of it's a granny. Well, you were noticed also in, I know, in, in the shopping, shopping mall. We were walking together, and they walked up to my grandmother and said, you're the lady in Playboy. And I was standing there like, well, what about me, you know? <laughs> but uh, they, they remember it's her the face novelty right away. Of it, I think, really. I mean, like I say, I never thought of granny being there in any capacity. Not even in the kitchen. <laughs> Dressed. <laughs> No day at no visions of becoming an actress or a performer. But then she never thought she'd become Playmate of the Year either. And with Granny behind her, who knows?